What up? It's the Devil God of the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, five years later. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In immersion right now with my men, men from all over the country, men who are coming here to level their lives up, to create power so they can go do what's required to get results. And I was scrolling on Facebook. I always love to look at memories. You know, if you're on social media, particularly Facebook, you can look at memories from years ago. Well, a couple memories popped up. Six years ago from today, I was in Arizona recruiting college students to be on my team six years ago. Then there's a picture five years ago of me at an event in Provo, Utah at a Marriott with men and women who came to a program that I was putting on. And if you look at the picture, like you, you could tell like it's just a group of people, no uniformity, no signage, just a one day event. And, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm trying to do this coaching and seminar and life-changing events. That was five years ago. Two years ago to the day. Shows a picture with me, Coach Nate, Coach Nick, and 19 men from all over the country who came to Immersion. So we had leveled things up significantly. Five years ago, just one day events. It's a, it's a cheap ticket, you know, it's like, it's inexpensive. And then two years later, three years ago, or sorry, two years ago, I'm in immersion. And today, again, running immersion class 16. Why do I share this with you guys five years later? Five years is not a long time. And if you look at how much we've leveled up five years ago, September was, I thought I was doing well. I made some good money. I think that year in 2014 did about a quarter million dollars. Right? It was, I was just starting, right? Just starting my coaching and speaking business. First year of inception. And five years later, right, we'll hit a couple million in revenue just shy of a couple million and we've grown like I've had to start all over again due to a number of things but why do I share this with you guys five years it's not that long and boy how how we have leveled things up even coach Nate coach Nate again he's one of my business partners he's our coach he's awesome at what he does he's a life changer game changer he is he's a great man great husband great father has a podcast has some books like he does He's part of our organization, a big part. Two years ago, he was one of my clients who had paid me to coach him, to help him, and he was running support in our events. And two years later, he is a partner in the business, runs our events, runs our coaching. I want you to take a look at where were you five years ago? Where were you? Have you leveled up? Have you grown? Have you become something more, something different, something greater? Have you realigned your life for your higher purpose? Or are you still making the same excuses? Five years goes fast. And I love the quote that says, most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10. 10 years ago, this time I was at an event. I was paying to go to an event in San Diego, California. I had sold my Super Bowl ring already. We were on EBT, that's code for food stamps, government assistance. My second son was just born, just a baby. And I was trying to figure out my life after the recession. I love this because if you take a look at the timeline of your life, you're either growing and expanding and becoming greater, or you're sitting in the same spot. And let's just be frank about this. If you're sitting in the same spot, you're losing. You're not getting any better. So the thing I would have you consider strongly, are you leveling up? 
I'm gonna post a picture of of these on the blog if you're watching that. If you look, go look at my blog at satemangalai.com where the podcast is. I want you just to look at who I was five years ago. Look at who I am today. Today I'm speaking on stages alongside Gary Vee, Damon John. The same stages that Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins speak on, Kevin O'Leary. I'm coaching people and organizations. I'm coaching CEOs and executive teams. They say, Satem, what happened? How did you do it? How did you go in, in five short years going from charging a few hundred dollars to an event to upwards of $7,500 to $10,000 per, per seat? How did this happen? I want to share that with you in this podcast, and it's really simple. Number one, I told the truth about what I wanted. Let me say that again. I told the truth. I was real. I stopped pretending. See, my heart has always wanted to play big. My heart has always enjoyed a nice lifestyle, luxurious things. I do. And my heart always loves to impact people. I was doing mortgages back in 2004, 5, 6, and 7. I had real estate. I was making incredible money, and yet I was unfulfilled and unhappy. Not because of the amount of money, which was great, but because my heart and soul said, Satema, you were born not to do this, although you could do this, you were born to do something different. Something that was in line with my greatest purpose. Something that would fulfill my soul and my heart and that would allow me to impact people. And so I listened. So my question for you is, are you telling the truth about where you are and what you want? If you can't tell the truth, like you're deceiving yourself, you're delusional, you'll never get to where you want to go. Ever. Don't care what formulas, what hacks, what tips, what tricks, what podcasts, what books. Even if you listen to my podcast, if you continue to lie, you will never get to where you want to be. So number one, I told the truth. Number two, I decided, I made a decision that if I'm going to die, I'm going to die having played full out having gone all in, having gone after the dream. And that decision meant making decisions of investing heavily into myself, going to events, hiring coaches, hiring consultants, hiring team and employees and, and finding partners that can align with my vision and me with their vision. Have you decided yet or are you still playing small? Are you still doing the thing that you hate? Are you still doing the thing that you know and, and you only do that because that's all you know? It's wild, right? You hear stories of little baby elephants who they, they try to escape, so they put a you know a chain around its leg and they put that little chain around a little post, a little stake in the ground. Well, when the elephant gets bigger, it says, oh my goodness, it's that chain, I can't move. When in reality, the elephant is strong enough to break free, but no, they're, they're so trained. Some of you listening to my podcast right now, you are so trained to think small, to just think about you and your bills. So many people say, and I've said it, I don't need that much money. That is such a selfish point of view. Of course you don't need that much money, but what about the people who could benefit from your gifts, your skills, your talents? I made a decision that I would not rest, that I would do whatever was necessary and required, that I would make the investment in myself, that I would go after it. Today, I'm living that dream. So tell the truth. Stop lying. Declare what it is that you want. Number two, decide, man. Make that decision. What do you want to do with your life? How do you want to live your life? Who do you want to impact with your gifts? What's the lifestyle that you want to create? How do you want to travel? How do you want to live? What schools do you want your children to grow up in? What area, environment, and home do you want them to have? What type of experience of a life do you want your children to have? One of scarcity? Or one of abundance and prosperity? I'm so grateful. I'll tell you right now, I'm so happy. Like, I'm a young business, right? I had to start again in 2016. I moved here to Southern California. The gentleman that I was doing business with, we, we 
we parted ways and I started over again. So in 2016, I started again, 16, 17, 18. I'm in my fourth year of business. We're hitting multiple seven figures. I've got an incredible team of people who work with me and I work with them. They work for me, I work for them. They're amazing. And I love my life. So what does this have to do with you? My brothers and sisters, take a look at your life today. Where do you wanna be five years from now? Are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing to invest in yourself? Are you willing to let go of things that do not serve you? Are you willing to question and challenge the truths that you believe to be true so that if they're not true, you can move on from them? Truths about money, truths about relationships, truths about how you make money, truths about all types of things, how the world operates, what's possible for marriage and family, happiness, fulfillment, peace. Five years ago. And can you imagine what's gonna happen five years from now? Five years from now, wow, I can already start to see it, and I already know what I see. It will be 10 times, 100 times greater, because it always is. Till next time, my friends. Till next time. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com. And join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.